I don't want to quit jumping after the sleep up. Is it achievement? You have to do a stride in spirits. You have to go for a really long journey with them. Yeah, you have, to, you have to travel over a hundred blocks in lava or something like that. Which I think if I get us a couple of striders, then yeah, we could probably do it. We've got two saddles. Actually, um, yeah, we probably could do that. There's even like, we could even probably cheese that too because there's a little lava lake over on the other side of the river. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna go look for an astrologer actually. So, so I like, do. I don't know if that's a good idea with it raining right now. Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Uh, we could, s it, it's midnight right now. We could sleep and get the rain to go away. Yeah, we just go back to the portal. I got you. Put the portal. Enjoy. Go away. <laughs> okay. Aww. You like hopped over into the bed I was standing next to, so when I went to left click on it, right as you went into it, it was like, oh, the bed is occupied. I'm just like, oh, great. She jumped over the bed. <laughs> the bed always sleeping. Ugh. Time for me to keep on working on the house. I really don't want to use fucking yellow, but if we're going to have the four main colors... Oh, and Lauren has crashed. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, give, give me one second, sweetie. Crying, screaming. No, you are okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't want to. Oh god damn it. Stop doing that. I think every time I've invited you, your fucking profile picture has been something else for your Xbox thing. It's just, it's a picture of a frog. My, my profile picture on Xbox is a picture of a frog. It always has been. No, 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 no. So, like, so on Xbox, on, like, the actual Xbox bit, it is. But for Minecraft, it's, it, it's like, one of the default ones that just changes every time. Um, maybe it should... For me, everyone, when I go to the invite screen, everyone's profile picture's on there. Uh, I don't know what it is then. I just I just know that the first time I invited you it was like the little green swirl and then like the second to last time I invited you it was like a little blue like thing with a pattern and then just now it was back to the green swirl. Oh. On the green spot. So this is correct, right? Yeah. Oh wait, no. No, it's not. I fucked this up. Really? What happened? My ear hurts. Oh no. My ear was hurting a little bit too earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Murray, um, what am I going to call you? Cheese. I'm going to find you a girlfriend or a boyfriend. There you go. Or just a friend. You don't have to have a partner in life. <laughs> oh, was my partner in life, yeah. Yoshi's. Fuck off with all this fucking fire outside the portal. I keep burning myself on it. Yeah. How do you keep burning yourself? Listen, you know I'm not especially aware of my surroundings. <laughs> oh, I didn't make a new axe. Probably something I should do. Where did I get the first one from? I can't remember. Uh, it was down. I mean, I remember you had to go down, like to the crimson bit. <sighs> I it, found it. 
It was crimson, uh, soul soil, and then fucking warped, I think, is what you found. There's no warped, no, it's just crimson. Oh. I wish there was warped. I like warped better than crimson. Yeah, I do too. Oh my god, there's like four hoglins here and like 600 piglins. They're gonna start fighting sooner or later. It's fucking great when they do. So we should be here to watch the show. Pushing the hoglin into the piglins to be like, please fight. Wait, did I not? Huh? Come on. You know you wouldn't to. Did I not pick that fucking piece of wood up? Oh my god. It's a massacre. They're all going for each other. Oh my god. I feel like I'm watching World War Two. Look at you guys. Very nice. I can't find any striders. I can some blackstone down there, but I ain't getting down there. No, I still need two more logs anyway. Ah, I would have just killed myself if I jumped once more. That wouldn't have been a point of Oh my god, what are they killing now? Oh god. Oh my god, run. Go, Willy, be free. I don't remember anything from Free Willy. I don't know what Free Willy is. Is that the, is that the fucking movie with the uh, dolphin? The orca. The, oh, the whale. What the fuck is the whale? Oh, Flipper. Flipper's the one with the dolphin. Flipper's a, yeah, Flipper's the dolphin. I don't fucking, you know, when it comes to fucking like mid 1990s movies especially from disney i don't fucking know i, I don't I honestly have like vivid memories of watching free willy when i was like fucking six i don't know why but like i just remember it was on the tv a lot like so i don't know why like every weekend it's not free willy's <laughs> again Ooh, let's watch it which yeah no the only thing i remember is at the end like and the whale jumps over a kid going into the ocean to be free. And the kid's like screaming. Because he's like, yes, will he be free? And yeah, so I remember. The only thing, the only thing I remember from uh, Free Willy is uh, in fucking the movie, uh, in the movie fucking Tommy Boy or whatever the hell. Uh, freaking Chris Farley. He's like, he's he's a bigger, like, heavier set dude. So he's out there in the middle of, like, a lake, like, with the lady he, like, really likes. And he's, like, trying to not, not to be awkward or anything. And fucking, there's, like, these three kids out on the fucking side of the lake. And they start making fun of them. And they're just like, hey, Gilligan, did you eat the skipper? <laughs> and then somebody was just like, hey, lady, there's a whale on your boat. Free Willy! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I was never like 90s film that I remember. I don't remember what this film was called, but I have like absolute fucking vivid memories of it. And it was like, this boy was sad, he didn't get a dog, he was like a kid. Yeah. Sad he didn't get a dog, so then his parents got him a dog for his birthday, yeah. or whatever. And then the kid was like really into baseball and whatever, so the kid started going to baseball with the dog and like taking the dog along. It was all happy fun, I don't remember what the fuck the like, point of the film was. And, um, there's this, like, and the boy was, like, angry at the dog, and, like, the dog was just obviously being a dog. It's, like, it was a very, it was a Jack Russell kind of thing. Uh -huh. Kind of dog. No, oh, don't leave me, come back. What's this? What's this? Come on. But, um, but, and then it was, like, I can't remember what happened. But the boy was gonna swing like a home run. But then halfway through his like bat, the dog ran out and he managed to like fucking bat the dog or some shit. Oh wow. Like, the dog was the dog was fine and everything, but like have weird these vivid memories of just crying like to the film. <laughs> what do you mean sat there like what was it? What? Oh. what? <laughs> But 
um, and I saw them, like, mid-90s, like, American, like, Disney's, like, either B-Tech Disney or actual Disney films were fucking weird. Uh, some animated films of the, uh, frickin' 90s were really good, like, the early 90s that weren't even, like, they were, like, Columbia or Paramount Picture, like, ones that just really yes. frickin' were good. Like, there was this one... <laughs> There, there was this yeah, one I really enjoyed. It was like a 1989 or 1990 movie. It was called Once Upon a Forest. It was really good. It was kind of sad, but it, I liked it a lot. I remember one film my, uh, my mum put on for us a lot as a kid because she enjoyed it. It was Toy Soldiers. And that film is both the thing and reason of my existence. <laughs> like, I loved and hated I had a love-hate relationship with that film. I loved it because like the story and that was so good and I thought the main character was like cool and I loved I loved the fucking the brown fucker he was cool. That sounds racist, but he was like the toy the dog thing, the Gorgon leader or whatever it was. Oh, from uh small soldiers? The oh, fucking that's it. small soldiers, yeah, toy soldiers. Emissary of the Gorg Gorgonites or whatever the hell his name was. Archer, that's Archer, Archer, Archer his name. Archer's his name. Archer, yeah, yeah, Gorgonites. I liked him. He was funny. Um yeah, no, I have, like, fucking vivid memory of small soldiers, and I remember being, like, scared of it a little bit as a kid. So, you, you want to know some trivia about that film? So, the fucking Sarge for the soldier, for the army guys, is Tommy Lee jo Jones. Did you know that because there was, like, six to seven, like, actual army soldiers, the original cast of the army soldiers was supposed to be the team from Predator? With Arnold Schwarzenegger being the voice of the leader, but Arnold, yeah, but so like, but they couldn't get they they couldn't get the uh, um, Arnold was in the middle of doing something else. I believe he was in the middle of doing Terminator Two Judgment Day, and uh, the some of the other guys I think had either turned down the role or whatever just because. So yeah, but like the original plan was for to have the Predator team be the voice of the soldiers in that movie. That would have been so cool. I need to get more of these. Um, I don't have any more sticks. Yeah. I, I have fucking bit. I can pretty much probably remember that entire film from like start to finish. Another film they showed us, like no, mid 80s, 90s film they showed us. My mum showed us a lot. Well, this might have been breaking even early 2000s. Was fucking Kindergarten Cop. Oh yeah, so that uh, yeah, that's a that's a 92 or 93 film. That that movie's really yeah. good. I like it a lot. I love it. I love it. I love the old. I especially love, and you probably can tell what I'm about to say. I especially love when Arnie and Danny DeVito got together and made a few films. That was amazing. Oh, fucking and twins and like whatever, whatever the hell the other one was. Junior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I loved Junior so much. That's the one where Arnie got pregnant, if I remember correctly. That was such a weird film, but it was actually really nice. It was like one of those cheesy like films that you could like enjoy. Sega at school and so I was like, Did anyone else see that film when Arnold Schwarzenegger gets pregnant? And they were just like, What? <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good. It's a classic. It's a fucking classic. Like, I don't know. I love, I just, I love, I love old films. Some of them are so fucking weird. Really? I can only make three more again right now? What the fuck? Why? Shut the fuck up, cat. <laughs> oh, I think one film I will, I will just outright refuse to watch is Marley and Me. Because, man. Oh, um, yeah. that that That's a rough film to watch, especially if you're a dog lover. Ten-year-old ten me found out what it was to fucking, like, proper sob my eyes out. And I watched my... I could not deal with it. Oh, it's so sad. And it wasn't like me saying it was like... I don't know, Owen Wilson. It's Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson's good. He's a good actor. I was really, uh... 
I was really fucking like, you know, you think of some movie actors and you're just like, oh, those are such good movie actors. And then you find out like they actually die in like a movie at some point. Owen Wilson was one of those guys for me. Like, because I was just like, Owen Wilson like lives through everything. And then like until I watched a uh, fucking, was it Armageddon with Bruce Willis? And he actually ended up dying in that movie. And I was just like, what? <laughs> Armageddon's a really good movie, but it's also kind of sad, I mean, like, so... I know some actors, like The Rock and Vin Diesel, and that have, like, a like a punch limit on the contract they sign for films, being like, oh, well, you can have me in the film, but my character can only get beaten up so much, and they can't lose. <laughs> like, that, that, that's in The Rock's contract for, like, films and shit, but he puts that in there, or his team puts that in there. The Rock. That's why, like, half the Fast and Furious films or whatever came to, like, a draw between him and Vin Diesel or whatever. Because both of them have it in their contracts that they can only, like, be beaten up and, like, they can't lose and shit. I just, you know, fucking, the movies I enjoy, and I know they're supposed to be parodies of stupid shit, but the movies I enjoy are the fucking Expendable movies. I like those movies a lot. Like, they, dude, ex Expendables are the ones with Sylvester Stallone, fucking Jason Stan, all the fucking tough guys, dude, like Chuck Norris, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis. Chuck Norris has my heart. Fucking, Sometimes. fucking Ronda Rousey's in the second one, she's pretty badass. Mm. Um, fucking, who else is, oh, st uh, you know, I think the only, I think one of the only few badass actors that's not in that movie is Steven Seagal, I don't think he's in that movie. But just a bunch of good people. Expendables, Expendables was actually the first movie I had seen that op that opened up the door for Jason Statham. And like, I've seen a few of Statham's like own standalone movies, and he's he is literally the fucking like English or European version of fucking Bruce Willis. He is such a badass. Pretty much, pretty much. Like Jason Statham, like man. Like, he's got the, that fucking, like, that, when that, that fucking rasp that he has to his voice is just like, oh my fucking god, this guy is such a good, this guy is so fucking cool. Yeah. 